Hello everyone, welcome to Watch Buddha Zen. Today, I'm going to share with you the importance of understanding reasons within oneself. When you find yourself in unfavorable circumstances, facing failures, setbacks, or difficulties in interpersonal relationships, instead of blaming others or heaven, it's essential to reflect on yourself and find the reasons within. There's a saying, where you are now is determined by the choices you made in the past two years. Where you will be two years from now is determined by the choices you make in the next two years. Excellent individuals always look for reasons within themselves. Only by finding one's own reasons can you identify deficiencies, recognize shortcomings, grow through experiences, and become more tolerant in conflicts with others. Don't blame others for everything, but reflect on your own faults. Seeking faults in others will never lead to progress, but finding faults within yourself will help you mature over time. For many years, a lady continuously complained about her neighbor's laziness. She claimed that the woman's clothes never got clean no matter how much she washed them. The clothes hung in her yard always had stains. The complaining lady couldn't understand why her neighbor couldn't even wash clothes properly. Until one day, a friend visited her house and discovered the truth about her own home. The friend wiped off the dust from the windows with a cloth, saying, Look, it's clean now. It turned out that her own windows were dirty. If you can first look for reasons within yourself instead of blaming others, many problems will be solved easily. By finding reasons within yourself, you will become better and better. Excellent individuals understand that success comes from putting your heart into what you do. Regardless of what you're doing, focus on doing it well without being distracted by trivial matters. Many people are often disturbed by trivial matters in their actions or work, leading to repeated setbacks in their persistence. One important reason for this is that they often focus on giving up bad habits without concentrating on what they want to do. To persist in something, it's crucial to focus on the task at hand, exert full effort towards the goal, and persevere like the late writer Lin Qingxian. Every day, he set a goal for himself to write 3,000 words, not for publication but for practice. He believed that writing was a gradual process and only through continuous repetition and accumulation could one break through. Every beginning of persistence is painful. No one can have an easy and successful life without effort. Refusing the temptations of life, breaking through one's limitations, and striving in persistence will eventually lead to success. Many people have experienced being completely absorbed in an activity, whether it's reading a book, watching a movie, or doing something they're passionate about, losing track of time and surroundings. This state of total immersion, where one's senses are fully engaged and focused, is essential for achieving excellence. As mentioned in Xuanzi's The Great and Venerable Teacher, there's a story about a man named Zingzi who became a master at catching cicadas. He attributed his success to wholehearted dedication and persistent practice which allowed him to improve gradually and achieve his goals. Understanding the importance of putting in hard work daily, instead of seeking shortcuts, is crucial. While many intelligent people seek shortcuts to avoid the long struggle towards success, the truly wise understand the value of embracing the hard work required. As Qian Zhongshu, a renowned scholar, once said, the smarter you are, the more you need to be willing to put in the hard work. Qian Zhongshu, known for his vast knowledge, was dedicated to intensive reading. During his time at Tsinghua University, he devoted himself to reading books tirelessly, making meticulous notes and reading them repeatedly. His memory was extraordinary, but it was his diligence in reading and meticulous note-taking that enabled him to retain information. Similarly, Yang Jiang, his wife, mentioned Qian Zhongshu's unwavering commitment to studying which ultimately led to his profound knowledge and achievements. Efforts are essential for achieving excellence. Instead of seeking shortcuts, redirect that energy into steady progress. As Usher once said, the world is filled with intelligent people, but those willing to put in the hard work are few. Success is not easily attained, and those who truly succeed are aware that there are no shortcuts. 
They understand that continuous effort and perseverance are the keys to unlocking their potential. To be excellent, one must dare to reach for higher goals. Often, simply reaching out and taking action sets us apart from the majority. It's essential to invest effort into reshaping oneself. A classic example is Yumin Hong, the founder of New Oriental Education. While teaching at Peking University, he could have settled for a comfortable life. Instead, he chose to step out of his comfort zone and founded New Oriental Education, achieving success beyond what he ever imagined. Behind the glamour of success lies countless struggles and efforts to break through self-limitations and reach for higher goals. Yu Minhong dared to dream big and took bold actions to turn his dreams into reality. In summary, the path to excellence lies in understanding oneself, putting in consistent effort, and daring to dream big. By seeking reasons within ourselves, focusing on our goals with unwavering dedication, and pushing beyond our limitations, we can achieve greatness. Whether it's overcoming setbacks, persisting in the face of challenges, or reaching for higher goals, the journey to excellence requires courage, determination, and a willingness to put in the hard work. Through continuous self-improvement and a relentless pursuit of our passions, we can unlock our full potential and make our mark on the world. So, let us embrace the wisdom of finding reasons within ourselves, the power of persistent effort, and the courage to pursue our dreams. Thank you for watching Buddha Zen.